Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we provided the header above ALV output. If I will show you the output, if I am giving the input, I will give created by also, you can see we have the ALV output and above this, we gave the header or title information above ALV using what top of page. If you see, we have same to same kind of output is here. So we finished with this part. We finished with this part. Now I will come on to this part, this part. Now, we all know this is SAP GUI status. This is SAP GUI status. What are the parts of GUI status? This is called as menu bar. This is called as function keys. This is your title bar. And this is your application toolbar. As of now, SAP GUI status is displaying. This is menu bar, function keys, title bar, and application toolbar. Now we need to create our own GUI status. Just see the requirement. Now we do not want SAP GUI status. We want our own GUI status. And in that own GUI status, our own GUI status, I require two functions or I can say I require two buttons into which particular part application toolbar. You can see this is application toolbar, which is below the title bar. So as of now, SAP GUI status is coming we will create our own GUI status in this particular screen. We will create our own GUI status. And in that GUI status, we will go for two functions or we can say we will go for two buttons. One will display the output in smart form. One will display the output in Adobe form. You can see Whenever we will click on to the first button, it will display the output in smart form. Whenever we will click on to the second button, it will display the output in Adobe form. So firstly, we will go for GUI status. In that GUI status, we will create the buttons. Then we will go for the creation of smart form and adobe form so i will go to the program now we will create our own gui status this is fully fully explained in the abap programming this is fully explained in the alv playlist sorry not abap programming alv playlist you can refer that playlist also if you want more detailed information Whenever we want to create our own GUI status, I will simply, simply uncomment this parameter. What is this parameter? I underscore callback and a PF status set. Now in front of this parameter, give some name to the PF status. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Just remember, whatever the name you are giving with the same name, we need to create the subroutine, same to same thing. Suppose I am giving the name PF underscore status. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Now, same to same. Whenever you want to go for PF status, Never forget for the prerequisite. Anyways, we provided the prerequisite that we gave the program name because 
we handle top of page previously. But if top of page is not applicable in your requirement and you are directly going for your own GUI status, so never, never forget to provide the program name else your functions will not appear there. Your GUI status will not come. It will still, still be SAP GUI status. So never forget to give the program name. And as of now, program name is already provided. Now we will see how SAP GUI status is. Then we will replace that GUI status with our own GUI status. Navigation part is explained in ALB playlist also, but here also we will see the navigation. But you can see, just copy this parameter. Copy this parameter, double click on the program. Double click on the program. I will write PF underscore status. Copy this parameter of the PF status. We will check how SAP did how SAP done this process. Same way we will also. I will copy this parameter. I will double click on this function. Go to go to the find button. Put that parameter i underscore callback pf status set. Do not forget to choose the radio button in your system. It might be in main program is written. Yes, as I have the latest system. So in my system, in master program is written. I will go for enter. Now, in the grid display, SAP is calling reuse ALB list display function or two. Double click. Go inside the list display function module and again find for same to same parameter. We are just checking how SAP done this process. Same way we will do. I will go for enter. Just scroll down and double click. Now you can see uh, we gave the program name in front of I callback program. SAP also done same to same process. In front of I underscore callback PF status set, SAP gave some name. Similar way, we also gave the name, but we gave PF underscore status. It is our wish, but the name we want to give. If I will search for this name and I will do control F, you can see SAP created the subroutine with same to same name, with same to same name. You can see we have form and end form statement. Mm -hmm. And in between this form and end form, SAP has written the logic for GUI status. So now what we will do, we will do same to same way. We will copy this subroutine statement. We'll copy this form statement. And now we will paste in our program. We are going for same to same way, which SAP did, but rather than SAP GUI status, we'll go for our own GUI status. So I will scroll down and now I will go for that particular subroutine. We all know every form has what and form. Now, this is SAP name. What is the name of our PF status? This is the name of our PF status. So we are going for same to same way, which SAP did, but rather than SAP GUI status, now we need to pass the name of our own GUI status. 
now you can see we have to give the name of our own OS. Now, in between this form and end form, we will write the logic to create our own GUI status. If, if you see, whenever we navigated between this form and end form, SAP has written the logic to create his own GUI status. Now, we replaced this SAP name by our own name in front of this parameter. We gave our own name. We created the fub subroutine with that name. And in between this form and end form, we will create our own GUI status. Now, you all know very, very well how you can create your own GUI status. We have a dedicated syntax. What is the syntax? Set PF status. Set PF status. And name of the PF status. You can give any name to the PF status. It is totally, totally your wish. Suppose I'm giving the name sales. And we saw so many times, but the freshers especially do the mistake. They think, yes, we gave the name PF underscore status. So they will write the syntax PF underscore status. See, whatever the name we gave in front of this parameter, we created the subroutine with the same name. The syntax to create our own GUI status is PF hyphen status. There's no relation between these two things. If here I will give the name A, it should be A, it should be A. This is a dedicated syntax to create your own GUI status. Now, what we will do, I will simply, simply double click on to this GUI status name and we will create the GUI status. I will double click. Now, it is asking GUI status sales does not exist. Do you want to create? Yes, we want to create. I will give the short description to the GUI status. So I will write sales report GUI status. And you can see we are getting same to same areas, menu bar, application toolbar, function keys. And we will create those two functions or two buttons in which particular area application tool part. This part we will continue in the next video. But what is the summary of this video? To create our own GUI status, I'll just activate this part as of now. And I will go to back button and show you the summary. To create your own GUI status, what we need to do? We simply uncommented the parameter I underscore callback PF status set. In front of this parameter, you can give any name. It is totally, totally your wish. Now, never, never forget to give the program name as program name was already provided because we covered top of page previously. So this was already there. Now, how we find that as how we find the logic of SAP GUI status. So how we find that particular part, I copied this parameter, I double clicked on the function module and inside this function module, we have reused ALB list display function module and we did the navigation and we checked that SAP also gave some name in front of this parameter 
But now SCP created a subroutine with the same to same name. So what we did, we copied that form statement and we pasted in our program. Rather than the SCP name, we replaced it by our own name because what is the name we gave? PF underscore status. Now, in between this form and end form, we will write the logic to create our own GUI status. Whenever you want to create your own GUI status, the syntax is set PF status, name of the PF status. Once you double click, it will ask you to create. You can create and I provided the description. After that, we have three parts are visible. Menu bar, application toolbar and function keys. In the next video, I will create two functions or two buttons in the application toolbar. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.